Okay, so we're back. Um, now, if you've been following along, you would have noticed that I've been parenting these controls here, but what I haven't done beforehand was actually fix up, sorry, I'll hit F8 to get out of component mode. Um, I haven't actually been clean with these control objects here, and you'll notice that there is still a lot of information which we really don't want to have. Ideally, we want this default position to read all ones in scale and then zeros in translates and rotates. So at the moment, this is looking very messy. So to fix this up, firstly, we need to just select each of these clusters and go Shift P to unparent them. I'll just marquee select them, unparent them all. Okay, great. So now we can go through and I'm going to select all of these controls here. And just go up to Edit, Delete by Type, History, go Modify, and then Freeze Transforms. And I'm just going to click that. And that's exactly the same as going right click freeze all. Okay, so they're all nice and neat. We'll just go through and fix up the others. Select both those. Now you notice the right hand side ones, because they were mirrored across, they've already had their um, everything zeroed out. And so I just need to deal with the left side now. Uh, so these controls, they're already set up properly. Uh, I just need to delete the history of this one. And I'll just select other controllers, right click, freeze, all. OK, brilliant. So now all the controllers are nice and neat and all zeroed out. And we can go back and reparent all of these. So just shift selecting and hitting parent, uh, hitting P for parent. sure you select that joint there. And I'm just going to go through quickly here and attach all these joint, uh, these clusters to the controls. Uh, but I'll attach this one to the joint. And again, I'll attach this one to the joint. And these to each of the controls. OK, great. So we have all of our clusters set up. But the thing is, they look, they look a little untidy on the rig. And you don't really want to be seeing them. Uh, there's no real point to selecting and moving them about, because that is now being taken control uh, of by these controllers here, which is what we made them for in the first place. So what we're going to do is go ahead and Shift Select to gather up all of these And with them all selected, we're going to come over here to our layers and just create a new layer with objects. And now we've got a new layer one. And this is where we're just going to chuck everything that we don't want the animator to touch. Uh, so this is also a great place for putting in blend shapes and things like that uh, later on down the track uh, when you're working with skinned characters. So we're just going to call this um, no touchies, so that they know not to touch it at all. And we're just going to hide that layer. So that's the visibility toggle. We're just going to set it so that it can't be seen. OK, great. So we have our, our control set up to take care of all this. So there's instances with the tail where you want the rotation of this joint to actually affect these joints down here in a hierarchy. So what we're going to do is just selecting this control, shift select this control, and hit P, and then select this control, shift select this control, hit P. And we're also going to do that for the hip control here. So if we select the tail control 
and shift select the hip control, hit P. Now you'll notice that this is actually what is going to drive the hip initially, but we're going to be able to control this hip without actually affecting the tail, which is going to be useful in animation as we'll get to later on. But as for now, the hip actually uh, is a parent of all these controls here, so when you move the hip joint, you'll also be moving the tail. When you move the tail one controller, you'll be moving the rest of them. And you see that this uh, spline, IK, has created this really nice sort of curving nature of the tail, and you can get great functionality out of it. Uh, I'll just undo that, and we can rotate it up. And we get some really nice motion from that, uh, particularly going from side to side. And so, looking at the rest of the rig, we need to start connecting all the rest of the joints up in this way. So, I'm going to stop this tutorial, and we'll come back and look at connecting the rest of the rig.